I think the Bible should be interpreted the way it tells us to interpret it. That uh, you take poetry as poetry, you take history as history, you take doctrine as doctrine, you take narrative as narrative. I believe that the Bible is two things. It's a handbook for life. And the reason why we have so many problems in the world is we don't read the owner's manual. I think, you know, when in doubt, check the owner's manual. It was given for our benefit. Because I believe the Bible teaches God is love. It doesn't say he has love. It says he is love. It is the nature of his character. That means that God always acts toward us in love. Always. Always acts toward us in love. So when he gives us a rule, when he gives us a principle, it's always for our benefit. And the problem is often we want to say, I know more than God. I, want, I know what will make me happy more than God does. Well, you can believe that, but I'm not willing to, to gamble that I know more than God. If you say, well, I don't understand why God says this in the Bible. Well, that's kind of obvious. For you to try to understand God would be like an ant trying to understand the internet. We don't have the brain capacity to understand God. If we could, we'd be God. And there are a lot of things in life that we're just not going to know the answer to until we get to heaven. We're, we're just not going to know. And so we have to live by faith. And I believe the Bible by faith. By what do you doubt it? Do you doubt it by faith? I mean, I mean, it's like there are more manuscripts that prove the Bible than there are. Uh, there are some uh, episodes of, of Shakespeare. We only have three existent copies uh, on Shakespeare plays. That nobody doubts they were written by Shakespeare. And yet, sometimes we'll have thousands of copies of, say, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, and people doubt it was written by Moses. Well, it is selective uh, prejudice.